Hey there, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna be baking out of the gluten-free artisan bread in five minutes a day cookbook. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that we made gluten-free bread flour mix, and then we made the dough in the same video, and then on the last video, we made a gluten-free boule. Today, we're gonna be making the gluten-free baguettes. So I'm only gonna make one, but it's super easy to just make two at the same time, especially if you have a larger family or if you want more bread. If you make two, I definitely suggest freezing one, but it does thaw and reheat great. The texture stays up, holds up well. So I think now all we need to do is get to shaping this bread. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So please consider hitting subscribe and let's get started. Okay, for your French baguette, we're gonna need about a half a pound of the master dough. So that's about the size of an orange. And the instructions in the book for this one actually say to sprinkle the dough with gluten-free flour. So I've got the flour blend here, and if you didn't have this mixed up, you could use a little bit of rice flour. So I sprinkled just a little bit on the dough that I was gonna grab, put it on here, measured up my eight ounces, and now we need to shape it into the baguette. So this goes back in the fridge, this stays with us for dusting, and then we have our water to shape it. Once we get it where it was, we'll smooth it out with the water. So to shape our baguette, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of flour on my hands, just to help. And there's no gluten in this, so it is not going to stretch like bread dough does. So you just have to kind of squeeze it and shape it. And that flour hopefully will prevent some sticking. So for shaping this, I did dust the parchment paper with some flour because it is so sticky and we're working with this more than we did the bread bowl. That way there you can roll it around some as you shape it. And you wanna make a torpedo shape. So we wanna stretch it out as much as we can. And see how it's not sticking anymore? And that's fine. So put yourself a little flour down on the parchment paper to give yourself that insurance that it's gonna stretch it at for you better. It doesn't really roll much, I don't think. Let's try it. Yeah, it is rolling pretty good. The book shows it rolling, but when I made it last time, it did not roll well for me. So this actually isn't too bad. All right, so we're at the end of my parchment paper, so you wanna shape it on the ends into some tips. The torpedo shape is the actual baguette shape, of course. Now I'm gonna wet my fingertips and just smooth it out. Okay, so now that we've shaped our pan, we wanna make sure we have our oven ready to go. And to do that, you need to have a baking stone on the middle rack and some kind of metal pan, like a broiler pan underneath, because we're gonna use some water to create steam to give us a nice crusty top on this. So I've already got that set up. To slide this parchment paper onto the baking stone, I'm gonna put everything onto an upside down baking pan. So I'm using a pizza pan here, but use whatever you have that's gonna help you slide it off. So let's put it onto that. Once it's on this, if you have a bowl large enough to cover it, you can do that. If not, you wanna use a little bit of plastic wrap. Okay, it's all covered up. We need to let it rise and come to room temp and all that. And it's gonna take about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna put this off to the side 
about 20 minutes into the resting time, that's when you need to turn your oven on to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That'll give it plenty of time to heat up before we throw this in the oven. So there's a couple more things we need to do and then we'll get it baked off. So for our gluten-free baguette, which we did not do with the bowl, you're gonna need one egg white mixed with a little bit of water, about a tablespoon. You could probably just use water if you wanted to, but this is gonna help it brown up as well. I'll put my egg yolk off to the side for something else. So let's just give that a quick whip so it's ready to go. Now that that's whipped up, we need to get our baguette ready to go in the oven. So it's been about 40 minutes and it hasn't risen a whole lot, but it has allowed it to come up to room temperature, of course, and I'm sure it rose a little bit at least. So let's take off the plastic wrap. We don't need to flour the top of this like we did our bowl if you watched that video. So I don't need my flour, but I am gonna get my egg white with a little bit of water and I'm gonna brush it all over the top of this and on the sides, of course. All right, this has all been brushed. So now I wanna take a wet serrated knife and I'm gonna cut three slits in the bread and that's gonna make the bread bake and it's gonna let steam out of those slits that I make in here instead of randomly. We wanna control where it happens. So I'm just gonna do three slices, about a half inch deep. Now we need to get this into a 450 degree oven. We're gonna bake it for 35 minutes and then take it out and let it cool completely before we slice into it. And once I get this on the baking stone, I will add my one cup of hot water to the broiler pan. That will create the steam that's gonna help this brown and crisp up even more. Guys, here is our gluten-free French baguette. It just came out of the oven. It needs to cool completely but look at how golden it is. We've got slices in it that looks like a gluten full baguette. Um, it's actually crackling a little bit, which I really like because according to the book, which I think I've heard this before, but it's called singing. The bread is singing as it cooks. So now it's gonna cool completely before we cut it because it's still kind of baking. It's still doing its thing. So let it cool completely before you cut it up. So I'm gonna let it sit for an hour or two probably before I jump back on here and we cut into it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, here's our gluten-free baguette from Gluten-Free Artisan Bread in five minutes a day. And it's not the same size you know, bread loaf you're gonna get at the grocery store or at Walmart or wherever, but nonetheless, it's a good piece of bread. So the slits, stayed where we put them. That made everything, you know, all the steam escape that way. You can hear, hear how crusty it is. It's got a nice golden color to it. So let's cut into it and give it a taste. Okay guys, I'm just gonna cut a little piece off just to taste it. You can see the crust flying. Gonna look inside. It's got some nice air pockets in there from the yeast, but not so many that we can't spread butter or anything else on it. Let's give this little end a try. The inside's chewy, the outside is crispy and chewy at the same time. That texture that artisan, bre artisan breads have, it tastes like bread, which I think is one of the most important things. It was relatively easy to make. Guys, I think this is a gluten-free baguette that you need to try yourself. I wanna thank you for watching today. Please leave me any comments below, and I hope to see you on the next video.